educators and volunteers, it's Susan Murphy again with our spotlight video for this month. And today I have a special guest, my friend, Sarah, who is an active volunteer in our Early Learning Coalition of North Florida chapter. We all know that it's April and we've experienced springtime, the spring holiday season that may have included lots of jelly beans and chocolate bunnies. And now we're nearing the conclusion of our BPK school year. Sarah and I are gonna focus on combining literacy, written communication and social skills by discussing writing to your classmates in a writing center. At this point of the year, friendships have flourished and they're established and good friends and good feelings I know are being practiced. What a better way to end the school year and leave a memory with the children is to write a message to your friend, have them delivered by a fellow classmate, and have a wonderful experience of taking those written messages home to keep. Sarah's gonna share with you the ease and joy that you can provide in a writing center at the end of the year. Okay, I'd be glad to. Um, if you do not already have a writing center in your classroom, um, setting one up is really just as easy as finding a small table that could sit three, two to four children, and there you have it. If you do already have a center that the children are used to having as a writing center, then this, the only thing involved will be just adding a few different materials. Uh, you will need some different sizes, colors of paper. Here's a few simple examples. Um, you will need some the utensils that, that the children will need to write with, which would, which would be pencils, colored pencils, crayons, and markers. And um, I, I do kind of like to show the children a real letter when I'm starting out before, before we actually do it um, so they know what a real letter looks like because um, it would be nice to think that some of them have received a real letter, but maybe not all of them have. And, you know, so here's the envelope and someone has licked the back and sealed it and written the name of the person who's going to get the letter and put a stamp on it. So then you will need to introduce the envelopes and there's the env envelopes and they're very easy to come by by going to the dollar store. You get quite a few for a dollar at the we dollar store. We love the dollar store, don't <laughs> for we? For sure. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and um, some stickers that the children can put on for stamps to, um, to, uh, used on their envelope and then um, also having in the classroom in on the writing center or near the writing center a list of all of the, the students names in the class and that way after they uh, write their letter and they're ready to seal it up and put a stamp on it they can write the name of their friend that they're going to to put mail their letter to and another thing that you might want to add that's really simple is my favorite my favorite i love this <laughs> having a mailbox which is actually this is a shoe box that i covered with white paper i did put a little tape around the top just so it wouldn't tear where i cut the hole um but and then you could have the, the children put stickers on it and um then they're when when they are ready to they have their name on their letter and a stamp on their letter and they'll be putting it in the mailbox and so that makes it extra fun. But with just these few simple things that I've shown you, you will be ready to have this Messages for Friends um, writing center in your classroom. And, and then make away Susan to and, share more ideas and details. And what's so wonderful about this, Sarah, is then they know this box is getting letters from their friends. And at the end of the class, then you as a teacher can assign that postal delivery person and they're going to anticipate getting a letter. And I know, Sarah, you and I talked about that when you go through the letterbox and you're noticing that maybe one particular friend is not getting mail on a regular basis, we would kind of quickly write a message to that person so they would feel also included. We could also add a literacy element to this. And um, what I would, would have done um, in the past with my writing center too is connect a book to it. So I chose a Forest Friends book, Letters from a Friend. And I would start reading this, Sarah, just a couple days before the writing center would open up and have them understand all the tools that you've given us, but the emotional effect of receiving a letter 
and the concern that's being shown in the letters about someone's health or someone's excitement or someone is moving. And I would just use that book and make that available on the table and of course include that in our circle time. Other books that I've found to use would be The Jolly Postman, which is our favorite because it has nursery rhyme letters in there. And also our favorite, Lola Goes to the Library by Anna McQuinn. And our class is a family because really at this point, our class has become a family. So in addition to this, when they have the names and they've got the tools, let's add a couple of sentence strips. And let's just keep it very simple in the beginning. And we're just gonna add just a couple of words of fun, happy, and thank you. They can use these for a few days. They could even trace them if they're not feeling very confident with their printing skills. And then a couple days later, my friend, let's play. And we could introduce this in our opening circle. Say today when we go to the writing center, we've got a new sentence strip that says, let's play. And again, we're teaching how they're reading their words, associating it with a friend's name, putting it in written form and mailing it to a friend. We can use this roster for the names for rhyming, for counting, for grouping, connecting, collecting. We can see how many boys we have, how many girls we have, how many people start with the letter A, how many people start with the letter R. Basically, we have so many tools just with a couple books, this wonderful writing center, and our roster. Everything is just an opportunity for learning. And you know as teachers, it's just at our fingertips or in her kitchen, or in her backyard, or at the dollar store. So thanks, Sarah, for coming today. I really appreciate you sharing your My great pleasure. ideas. And we'll see you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, and we appreciate your time. You take care. Bye. Bye.